break it down. Bye, have a great time. Hey, what's up, big Operation iDroid here, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to get past the 2-2 helper crash without paying $12.99. Now, it's actually really simple. All you have to do is open Safari and type in the URL iEmulators.com, then switch to the app section and you'll see a new application called 2-2 Fix with the banner required right next to it. Now this 2-2 fix application is required with all the other applications that have 2-2 fix next to it. So as you can see, NDS for iOS and PPSSPP have this little banner here. So you will need to install the 2-2 fix application in order for these applications to work. So I'm gonna be showing you now how to install them and what happens when you don't have the 2-2 fix application and how easy it is to fix it by simply installing the 2.2 fix application, which is completely free and you don't have to pay $12.90 now. So first off, you will have to head to your settings, general profiles and device management and trust the certificate for NDS for iOS and PPSSPP as per usual. And you'll see that when you try to open it, it'll say that you need to install the 2.2 helper, but if you click cancel, then the application will just crash. And if you go to click install, it'll take you to the Tutu website and say that you need to pay $12.99. Now at first, this was a little confusing for me as well, but there is a free alternative that Tutu offers. So huge shout out to them for signing these applications for us and providing us with a free alternative as you can see here. And all you have to do is install this application. You don't even have to trust it. And then NDS for iOS and PPSSPP will automatically work when you open them. The little prompt that says that you need to install the 2.2 helper application will no longer appear and you'll be fine. So as you can see, I'm now playing NDS for iOS normally. If you plan on using NDS for iOS as well, I recommend you turn on Dropbox Sync because these applications can still be shut down by Apple at any time. So one day this application will just stop working one day and you'll have to reinstall it from iEmulators. But if you wanna keep your saves, all you have to do is turn on Dropbox Sync again. So make sure you turn on Dropbox Sync now before the application crashes and that is pretty much it. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please hit that like button as it helps out the video tremendously and I truly appreciate it. I know this video was a little short, but I just wanted to relay this information about using the free Tutu Helper application instead of paying $12.99 because I was getting tons of comments and tweets about it where people didn't know that there was a free tutu helper app so hopefully now you all know comment down below whether you knew or not before this video as i'd love to see how open this information was to everyone and as always if you are new to the channel be sure to subscribe for more awesome tutorials like this one trust me my other ones are longer and better if you want to check them out you can click one of the two videos on screen they all have to do with nds for ios so i think you'll like them and as always Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and welcome to the operation.